Hey, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Amy Howard. I'm coming to you from Memphis, Tennessee, and welcome to a maker studio. We are in a pre-pre-launch right now with this incredible new company. If you don't know about us, you need to be sure and check us out. Look at all the different postings and things that we've been doing. But this is a sister company of mine that I'm wanting to teach makers how to be able to have their own business and how to empower them by having all these different products and things available as well as their own website to be able to sell from. Um, the opportunity to just really focus on what it is that they love and that's creating and connecting. So today I wanted to tell you several things. Um, one thing I did want to do, just a little promotional, if you're not familiar with my new book that came out May 8th, um, it's by Abrams Publishing, and it really is um, an incredible how-to book. Um, it's kind of a hybrid because it's a cross between being a how-to book and being almost um, an inspirational cocktail table book. And somebody asked me earlier, they said, why should I read your book? And I thought, you know, honestly, um, a lot of people don't know, but um, at one time I was a single mom and I had to rescue furniture and I painted it and it was a way that I made a living. And so I had to learn the processes and create recipes that really set my furniture apart. That was in the very beginning when I was rescuing and restoring and redecorating furniture. Um, I had to create the different looks what each of those pieces needed to have. And along that journey, I was able to start uh, designing and manufacturing furniture, which I did that for 23 years. I had about 28 showrooms across the country and um, actually designed and private labeled uh, the manufacturing of furniture for a company called F. Schumacher. So it's been a very long journey of mine and through it a lot of failures. I tell people a lot of times you're not going to learn everything and never make mistakes. We learn from our failures and through my failures of finishes and creating techniques for them the successes that I put together that became my consistent go-to recipes, I've put in this book. Uh, this is not my first book. My first book is called A Maker's Guide, and it, it's, it's a soft business book on celebrating your differences and your giftings and your passions and how to put that into uh, the day-to-day -day of having a business for a maker or a creative. But this book is strictly for two people. It's for a person that wants to rescue and restore furniture and make, a, a, make money at it, being able to flip that furniture, but your pieces have got to really be different. There's got to be a thought process through the finish on every particular piece that you do, and I put those processes in this book. The second person that reads my book is someone that wants to decorate their home. They get frustrated with Pinterest. You go into a furniture store and you see that you've got to spend five or $6,000 to be able to just have a nice room full of furniture. And to be honest with you, um, furniture that, that is out there at estate sales and garage sales and antique malls are beautifully handmade and uh, American made pieces of furniture that are available that you can put a new finish on and be much better looking than a lot of the inexpensive foreign made furniture that you're going to find this, these days. So I really encourage you to get my book and um, it's on our Facebook page with a link and you can go to your maker studio, find your maker and they are selling the Rescue, Restore, Redecorate books on their website. So contact a maker today and if you're interested in becoming a maker, we want to hook you up with someone. Um, that's a team builder and they're there to be able to really connect with you, have community, and walk with you in this creative journey. So one of the things that I really want to kind of go over today a little bit more is chalk art and the diversity of it. Chalk art is not chalk paint. Chalk art is something totally different. So a lot of you are out there and maybe you have been familiar with a chalk paint finish. Of course we talk a lot about how our paints especially with our Rescue Restore Paint in a Maker Studio line, is a totally new formulation. It smells beautifully, it has great coverage, and you do not have to seal it. It has no VOCs, it's certifiable green. You can use it in babies' rooms and children's rooms um, and feel safe about it. It's totally different than chalk art. Chalk art is 
just what it says. It is a chalk composition, but it is removable. It's washable. Yes, you can paint with it, and I do do that, but this is about creating artwork with stencils that we have created. If you haven't watched any of my videos before, within a maker studio, we're all about projects. We're all about empowering you to be able to decorate your home, what we call crafting a beautiful life, with all of our brushes, with our stencils, with our stamps, the things that you need that go along with chalk-based paints, and something as incredible as the chalk art. So let me just show you, I have a masonite board here that I have painted already with our black Rescue Restore paint. Now, this has a beautiful velvety matte finish. This is the, uh, this is the preferred finish that you wanna be able to work on this. I could very easily paint this any background color that I want, but believe it or not, I could paint a wall like this I could paint my cabinet doors inside like this and it becomes a chalkboard. I can write on it with chalk. So basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna be taking my stencil here, which I love, which it's called, There is a Season for Everything. This doesn't have to be something that you use at Christmas. Um, this can be something that I can use all year round. And depending on the color palette, maybe I'll do it for fall. Something that I'm doing right now in the color palette, I'm doing a green and a blue and a white. And I think that's much crisper. It's pretty for summer because everything's green, everything is alive. That's part of the reason why I've chosen this particular color. But um, look at this piece over here. This is another example um, of one of our stencils here at a Maker Studio. This is Home is Where the Heart Is. Love this. This is by a beautiful designer. Her name is Dana Tanamachi. She's a maker and she is a chalk artist who is incredible. And this is one of her designs that we have exclusively uh, through um, a maker studio. We have licensed um, her designs to be able to have on our tri-mesh stencils. So look at this color. I did the background with Southern Gentleman, which is a beautiful dark gray. And I came on top of it uh, with three colors of a green, a pale blue, and a white. So you'll notice I seasoned over it with this blue. Now, now you'll notice here, not only did I use this particular blue in the uh, word heart, but I also used it on painting this edge. So because you can wipe it away, I came back and lightly sanded it so it wore through, so I was able to see the Southern Gentleman color underneath. So it's a type of distressing, a really authentic look uh, that you can get. So I wanted to show you that and just how different it can look with different colors. Now, what I'm getting ready to show you is this one over here. So that way you can look at a close up. There's a big difference between that home is where the heart is stencil in this one. Look how it's gray dated. Look how it's a mixture of all these different colors. So um, while this is very summery, maybe in the fall, I might do it a combination of browns and oranges and coppers and golds. I'm gonna make an announcement to you. Now, this is our open group of people. This is the public that sees this. I do training for all of our makers that are part of a maker studio on Mondays, and I, I give them little perks and knowing when things are gonna be new and up and coming. But this is some of our new metallic chalk arts. So this is a beautiful copper, we have gold, and we have silver. These are, they look metallic, they look oil, they look expensive, but these are water-based chalks that are metallic. So you can start using that on all these different finishes. You can paint with it. Um, if you're an artist and you like working with mixed media, it's definitely something that you're gonna fall in love with. So these are the three colors that I wanna be able to work with today. Um, this is my white, this is pink and joy. Uh, this is the blue that I'm working with, which is called cute as a button. And then my green here is called hey good looking. So yes, I have fun. Uh, naming things. I think it's part of, uh, it's, I just say it's one of the perks of my job. How's that? So, um, so what I'm going to be working on there again, I've got my board, my masonite board that I just uh, painted with the black rescue restore paint. I did one coat. I did roll it on. I've allowed it to dry for about 20 minutes and I'm ready to go. You'll notice this tri-mesh stencil has an adhesive to it. I can use it multiple times, so I'm just gonna press it down, that way I can work on it and it's not gonna come up. It's attached. So that way if I was working with Mylar, I would never get the detail that I can with these, um, 
with these tri-mesh stencils. Now look through here. Can you see through? You can kind of see some of the color because we've used this many times before. But there is not a cutaway. It's literally like silk screening. We say this is like stenciling, but more like silk screening. So that's a mesh right there. And this chalk art is gonna go through that mesh that's gonna give you art that literally looks like you were this experienced chalk artist that did it. You know, the great thing about it is if you're a crafter, if you're a maker, if you love doing, um, if you have an Etsy shop or you like doing um, craft shows and you resell your art, this is perfect for you because this framed would look like a very expensive work of art. Um, or maybe you keep it in your kitchen, you put it in a frame, or just have it posted up like this or on a shelf. Um, depending on the, as the seasons change, at Christmas we'll do this in red and green and then we'll change season and everything to gold. Um, in the fall, we're gonna change it out and make it look like fall colors like we talked about with the orange um, and the copper. So it's fun to know this is something that you can continually um, change up and display. So let me, let me walk you through this process. So this is a blending process. So I'm going to have three different spreaders. You can use your fingers with this. You can use um, a credit card, a lot of dis different spreaders. It's, it's gonna be um, one of the easiest, most rewarding things that you've ever done. But I'm gonna go into here and you'll notice how I'm just gonna randomly lay down some of this chalk art. Now remember, this is removable, it's water-based, it has no smell, you don't have to worry about it. This is also a fun project that you can do with your children. They think this is a blast. They're amazed at themselves, it's very calming. All right, so I just laid in some of my green. Now I'm gonna come back with uh, Cute as a Button and I'm gonna lay in some of my blue. So you see, this is all I need. This can do a lot of projects. So I'm going to just kind of fill in, but look how I'll lay it down and I'll leave just a little bit of a blob there because that way when I come back and I start smearing this all together, it's gonna blend together and create another color. So I wanna make sure that I have a little bit of excess on each area. Now I am live. This is uh, Wednesday afternoon at three o'clock. So if you're watching and you have a question, I please um, just ask, ask away. That way I can answer them for you. All right, look who's come in here. Come here, Gracie, come here. All right, look at this. So, <laughs> Jean, <laughs> Jean just walked through the studio. I think um, Gracie's our new Cavalier King Charles and um, she's in training. So she's in, uh, we have to train her how to learn how to go outside and use the bathroom. So she comes through here sometimes and she starts nipping at my, um, at my feet. So I just thought I would introduce. If you saw me a few weeks ago, I introduced Gracie. Look how much she's grown. Look how long her legs are. Gracie, can you say hi to everybody? <laughs> okay, Jean, I'm gonna, um, if I put her down, will you call her? Okay. All right, so um, we're dog people. So if you just wonder that way, um, I, we like bringing our dog to work, but um, actually I think she left a little present in the art room earlier. And Danielle was telling me that, uh, look, we've gotten another present from Gracie. So it's just part of the joys of having puppies. All right, so now I've got my, my white chalk art. Remember, this is not chalk paint, this is chalk art. You see it's somewhat of a pink, uh, a paste consistency. Um, and I can thin it down with some water and make it more into a paint, but I love it with the paste like this because it allows me the versatility of being able to use it and create art with these stencils. I promise this will be one of the most addictive things that you've ever done. I'm gonna do just a little bit more and then finished. All right, I want to make sure not to put it back in there because it would um, it would start mixing the colors, so I'll always make sure that I clean my spreader off before I reach it down in there. Now, you'll notice, look and see how I've got all these little dollops everywhere. So when I start coming back with this flat edge 
of this spreader, I wanna make sure that I stay off of there is a season for everything. I, as I'm blending and as I'm creating um, this kind of ombre effect, it's really important that you don't do that on everything. It'll take away um, the impact on it being more solid here. So I'm just gonna come back in and we're blending it. So notice how I'll lay this down just a little bit and then pull it up on the edge. So I'll lay it down, pull it up, lay it down, but I'm staying away from these letters over here. thing about it is this is water based so if there's an area and it gets over and you don't like it you just wipe it off and do it again cool thing too about these stencils is that I can um, I can wash them and use them over and over again you don't have to scrub them I'll just take them over to the sink blend it with just a little bit of um, water and so pat dry it and then put it back in its container all right, so I'm gonna come back and I'm going to clean this off with my paper towel. Because I'm doing that because I don't wanna mix it. I like being able to use um, solid colors on my letters. I think it's easier to be able to, um, be able to see it. So I'm gonna come in with theirs. There is a season. I'm just gonna do the A and this little Florida de lis area around it. Not Florida de lis it's more of a canthus. All right, I'm just gonna turn this just a little bit. Forgot that little area up in there. See how you can see, you'll see the area where it's open. I'm gonna pull this out so you can Start to see the detail. Isn't that easy? Look at that. Let's take a sneak peek. Let's pull it away just a little bit. Is that terrible? Ah, look at that. Ah, see how there's some of the blue and the green and the white? Oh my gosh, guys. See how exciting? I, no matter, it doesn't matter how many times I do this, I still, now look at the detail. You could never get this kind of detail with just a regular stencil. This tri-mesh that is patented, it allows you to be able to do that. Look at that. Like you're this master craftsman that has practiced chalk art for their entire lifetime. Now you're able to do this. All right, so I don't wanna mess this up. I'm gonna lay that back down and I'm gonna come back. Um, I think with season and everything I'm gonna do in white. So let me clean off. Let me clean that off. Now see, if you were part of a maker studio, you could be uh, going and having gatherings and showing people how to do this and um, see how much fun it can be. So I'm gonna come in here. Looks like I got my blue over on just my, my S just a little bit. And if I was doing this and I, and I wasn't trying to teach you guys on a Facebook Live, I would probably take my time just a little bit more. I'm gonna probably go in and finish it out in the white because if I was doing it by myself though and I wasn't trying to show you, I'd definitely take my time and mix it with some more colors. And I might even come back with the new metallic gold chalk art that we have because I'm a totally addicted to it. All right. So you see how little, if this is clean, I can come back and add it back in there. Um, I use very, very little of the chalk art. You do want to make sure that you keep your um, your tops on them where it doesn't dry out because that way you can use these for a long, long time. All right, so I'm going to pull this up and we're going to have our reveal. Let me turn it, turn it around. It'll be upside down, but I'll turn it around for you. This is the exciting part, being able to see just how simple and easy it was, but how professional it looks. And believe it or not, if, like I said, if this is something that you or as a maker wanna be able to do, you can frame these and turn around and resell them because I can wipe this off with water and I can do it again. 
If you want it to be permanent, which a lot of people do, we have a matte sealer at a maker studio that is uh, water-based, it's UV protected, and you can um, just roll on top of this and it will seal it permanently so you don't have to worry about um, it coming off with water. Um, but the cool thing about it is once this dries, look at this. Now this has not been sealed. This is one uh, that we did earlier. This is dried and I can wipe over it and it's not going to smear. So it's not like a normal chalk. On a normal chalk, if you, if you touched it, it's going to smear. This is not. This is stuck. But if I want to be able to get rid of it, if I want to be able to uh, do it all over again, all I do is wipe it off. Sadly, I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I've got my water right here. So I've got my beautiful chalk art. Look at this. So I can just take a wet rag. Look at that. See? It's gone. The cool thing about it is it allows me to be able to create over and over again. And what's another great thing, a lot of people don't realize this, is with a lot of uh, chalk-based paints, you have to seal them. You can't wipe with water on it. With the um, Rescue Restore paint, you don't have to seal it. You can work with it, so it allows you a lot of versatility, and you've still got this beautiful um, matte, chalky finish to be able to work with. So I'm going to set that aside, but I thought it would be fun just to let you see just how easy it is to wipe it off and redo um, it again. You know, we do want to make sure now that I'm going to go to the sink, I'm going to clean this with some soap and water, and then just pat it dry and then that way put it back in its container and I've got it saved so I can use it again and again because if I'm wanting to be able to go and resell these items or maybe I'm a maker and I'm going to go to somebody's house and I'm going to show them how to be able to recreate this I can clean it and then that way they can do it all over again. Something that um, I did want to show you this was something that uh, we had worked on earlier. This is on paper. You can use the chalk art even on paper. So you can make your own stationery. Look at that adorable letter done in, um, was that two colors, three colors? Isn't that adorable? So when you've written a note to somebody or maybe I, I sent some books to someone um, uh, as a thank you note uh, at the Today Show and um, we made one of these cards here so I was able to write inside it so that way when they see it they know that um, it, it came directly from us and that it was hand done and there was a lot of thought put into it. That's what makes a maker studio so fun. It, we have um, and are continuing developed um, products that you can really, uh, what we say, craft a beautiful life. You can make it very custom, you can get together with friends um, and you can make things that no one else. I would be able to to have because it's part of enjoying the bragging rights. So look forward to seeing me here every week. I'm going to share projects and things that we're doing in our test kitchen here at a maker studio. If you have any questions, if this sounds like something you might enjoy about having your own business, please get in contact with one of our makers at a maker studio. And uh, we look forward to hearing more and sharing more with you. Have a great day, guys.